There she is! Capture her! Zieri wants her alive! What in the hells is going on? Things have turned out well for us, my brothers. The girl and the Kalakcha, both within our reach. Take one team and capture the girl alive. The rest of us will deal with this one. Split up and search the rooms. It should not be difficult to find the girl in here. So the Kalakcha survived. Deal with him first. The girl can wait. <laughs> <laughs> You again. Don't come any closer. What? I'm not going anywhere. Why won't you all just leave me alone? <laughs> burn down another building when you were here the first time? You're worse than me. Looks like those things are trying to smoke us out. Well, it worked. Let's get out of here before this place collapses. So my barn and home are both burned to the ground. Any more of your help and all of Highcliff will be the next to go. Anyway, I think it's best we part ways now. You go your way, I'll go mine. Look, I barely know you, but what I do know is whenever you show up, trouble's not far behind. So I think it's best we say our farewells now. You will regret that. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe I should have stuck with you after all. Well, you could have killed me if you wanted to, I admit. Though you've destroyed everything else. Look, we really need to get out of here before more of these creatures show up. Do you know of anywhere safe that we can talk? Neverwinter? The only safe place you can think of is in Neverwinter? She's going to be staying at the Sunken Flagon with us? <sighs> Why not? My barn's gone, my house is gone. 
Are we leaving right away? Well now, I see you've brought someone new to my establishment. Now who is this young lady? Please lass, come in, come in. Make yourself at home. This here is the sunken flagon. I own it. You'll be safe here. Grabnar, play a tune or something. Make the lady feel welcome. Why, of course. I was just thinking. Look, we don't need a lecture on what passes through your head and out your mouth. Just play. Well, the innkeeper certainly runs hot and cold. All right. I agreed to let you bring me here. Now I want some answers. Not all of us wanted you here. Trust me. What happened at my farm? Who were those creatures? And why were they after me? Calm down. Calm down? You try being calm when your farm is attacked by monsters and burnt to the ground. What could I possibly know that would be important? I lived on that farm all my life. Did they want to learn how to milk cows? Amanjaro? He was my grandfather. Or my great-grandfather. Or was it my great-great-grandfather? I heard he was an eccentric but humble wizard. But he died a long time ago. What's he got to do with this whole mess? My mother told me about the Haven when I was a child. I thought it was just a tale she used to make me do my chores on time. She always threatened to lock me in there if I wasn't a good girl. I have no idea where it is. Knowing its location wouldn't help you much anyway. My mother said something about a path you have to walk to get to it. Like a series of challenges, but I don't remember what they are. She also said getting into the Haven requires a pint of fresh blood. And not just any blood will do. It has to be Jero blood. Wait, is that why you rescued me? So you could bleed me? Oh, I get it now. I was wondering why we'd brought her here. She was really starting to bother me. If you think I'm going to let you drag me into some dark dungeon I used to have nightmares about, think again. What? Oh, uh, I mean, all right. Oh, well then, I'm glad you understand. That's a little more than I was expecting, actually. Look, I can barely think, let alone stand. I really need rest. We can talk about this tomorrow. Is she sleeping here too? Alarm! Alarm! Everyone, get out of bed and grab a weapon! The flagon's under attack! That last Chandra has been taken? How in the hells did those Githyanki get into the city? Does that matter? You'd best hurry if you want to get her back. Look, this one has a sprig of duskwood trapped in his boot. That means they came from deep within Luskin territory, and that's where they'd be returning to. Luskin? That's your territory, Bishop. Yes, but it's not my problem. I'm not going into Luskin territory for some farm girl, and certainly not with any kin of yours, Duncan.
Is your whole family deaf, Duncan? Like I said, not my problem. You'll help them, Bishop, whether you like it or not. And what makes you think? Calling it due, are you, Duncan? Are you sure? A woman's life is at stake, Bishop. If that's what it takes to move you to do the right thing, then so be it. Fine. It will be worth it to be rid of you, and for such a small price, too. You're a fool, Duncan. So be it. All right. Pack your bags and grab your weapons. We're bound for the Luskin border. Follow my lead and don't try to be clever. If the Luskins catch us, they'll use us for target practice. <laughs>